Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Age of Origins at Wakarash Gaming. I previously made a video where I shared the top 5 factors to win Elite Wars or Doom Arena. You can check it out on the link above or alternatively I've added a link in the description below. So today we had Elite Wars, yet what I didn't realize was how little videos are out there to discuss the rules. Therefore in today's video I'm going to walk through some of the basic rules surrounding the Elite Wars. What I've noticed even in my alliance is that we don't declare war on other alliances and elite wars. Every week, you can have one attack battles and one defense battles. Another thing I've noticed is that my alliance didn't set up a truce time. You can always set up a truce time. During this time, other alliances cannot declare war on you. The winner of the elite wars will get points and the defeated will have points deducted. These points will then determine the Elite Wars ranking. I'll come to more of that a bit later. Every Elite Wars battles will last for 45 minutes. The alliance that successfully invades the other side base will be the winner. If a base hasn't been invaded when the battle is over, the side occupying the most strongholds will be the winner. During the battle, commanders can spend gold to return the troops to their base instantly. This is in case you are sidestepped and the opponent has rushed to your home base. There are no losses in Elite Wars. All troops killed or wounded in the Elite Wars will be fully recovered from after the battle is over. I previously mentioned in my video to make sure you activate your city buffs prior to entering the battle. It is clear within the rules the buffs item used during the battle will not take effect. So as a reminder, please use your city buffs before you join the battle. Once the game tries to sell you the point that Elite Wars grant rich rewards, including extension components, commander XP, and resources, the amount is still pretty poor. The main rewards earned will be merits. You will get merits according to your performance in the battle. Merits will increase your military rank, which will boost the attack, defense, and max troop units. Finally, you can only join Elite Wars battle after the alliance has been created for 7 days. Separately, you also have to be in the alliance for 7 days before you can participate in them. So if you were to change alliance, you have to wait 7 days before you are eligible to partake in Elite Wars. Last but not least, there are Elite Wars Alliance Ranking, which has 5 orders of status. Rookie Legion, Pioneer Legion, Veteran Legion, Noble Legion, and finally the Elite Legion. My alliance with 15,050 points has over the past few months lingered between Rookie Legion and Pioneer Legion. However, it's of course most prestigious, the higher your alliance statuses are, the more bragging rights you have. With these basic rules covered, I thought I'll finish off today's video with the last few minutes of the latest Elite Wars battle against ASM from Nation 622. Thank you everyone and enjoy the rest of the video. I wake up in silence Turning our face an empty bed There's no one besides me And I try to remember what I've said
the strangers Believe me when I say Loving me is loving danger Your heart is bound to break I walk alone in the night Neath the pale moon Loving's for the fools Baby, beware of my mind I'm alone, I'm alone, I'm, a, I'm alone I'm a lone wolf I'm a lone wolf I'm a, I'm a, 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 I'm